Here I have a power bank lithium battery pack designed for the iPhone SE. And you can see that it uses the lightning adapter here. So the problem with this is that I bought it together with a used iPhone and the person included with the iPhone. However, it doesn't work. I haven't really used it for a long time and the first time I used it, I tried to charge it. It seems like it would charge, but then it wouldn't turn on. If you press the button, it indicates the battery is low through the blue light, as you can probably see here. Okay, so now let's try to charge it. If I plug in the charger, and it's going to charge, and you will see that it will show that it's full. So you can see, you can see all the um, LED lights here, the, indicating that it is being charged. However, if I unplug it, and if I just press the power button, it would just show the battery is low. Okay, so let's open this up and see what's inside. So first, remove this and then pop open the case because it's just held together by the clips on the side. It's not too hard just to pop it open on this side, on the bottom, and then on the other side. So there it's exposed. You have the charging circuit here and you have the lithium ion battery. So let's see if I'm charging it, does it actually send a charge to the battery? So I'm going to take my multimeter and we'll find out. So here's my multimeter, set it to DC, direct current, and put the two probes, one on the positive and one on the negative. As you can see, it's charging 2.9, holding steady at 2.915 volt, which is a little bit low because this should be giving out at least three point something. And that's probably why it couldn't give a charge to the, um, to the iPhone. And now I think the problem lies with the lithium battery pack so I have a choice to either find a similar battery or I can just recycle the battery and get rid of the power pack since I don't really use it anymore. But at least now you can see what it's made of and how it's made.